so I was thinking when I was reading it, I wonder if you're a person who believes that the apple never, apple never falls far from the tree and that if we are ever to know anyone truly, we must know their parents. Or, but now it sounds like it was really more about just the credibility of her life as a botanist that was driving yeah. all that description around him. It wasn't so that I would believe in her and her personal motives and her personal hang-ups. And I don't think it's an if or. Mm -hmm. um, I, think it's, I think it's requisite that it be both, right? I think it's requisite to have, it, have that be there for historical plausibility and for plot plausibility and also for psychological plausibility. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and one thing also that happened was that the energy that Henry brings, because he's just mm -hmm. like, just so driven, um, that when that section was finished, which I wrote very quickly because it was just like this locomotive, um, and then we come back to Alma, Mm -hmm. I had this little conversation with Alma. <laughs> I was mm -hmm. like, step up. Right, right. Because <laughs> right. your dad's a really interesting character. Right. And, and her again. mantra is become the master of yourself. Yes. So there was this incredible moment that is, I mean, I underlined stuff every other page I was underlining and starring, and we could be here till midnight. Um, but there's this moment where you know, every, someone, someone dies and there's an emotional reaction and she says, one cannot mourn every death. Yes. <laughs> right? And, and be the master of yourself. Yes. I and mean, if you have these unpleasant thoughts, let them fall stillborn to the ground. Yes. I mean, that's a line, mama. Master. It's Calvinism. So well done you it's, on that. It's, you know, when I, I met this Dutch journalist recently to do an interview for the book and she walked into my house and the first thing she said was, how do you know the Dutch? so uh -huh. well. And, um, and I said... There's another um, <laughs> theme that I liked a lot, which was um, kind of action versus debate. So this, 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 these Whitakers sit around and talk about everything. And Henry Whitaker's super action-oriented. Yeah. Almost more of a student, an active student. And then there's this Prudence, who doesn't say a word at all in any of these discussions. She walks out with this man for very specific reasons that we will not discuss tonight or it will ruin the reading for you. But she takes a stand and she dedicates the rest of her life to action yeah. around this, the cause of ridding the country of slavery. Yeah. So talk about that a little bit. Why, 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 why is that what she cares about? Um, well, she, she, she cares about that because it's what you would care about if you were a deep a person of deep conscience in 1850. Um, uh, did you know she was a person of deep conscience when you introduced her, or did yeah. she grow in your, okay. Yeah. Um, she has to be, because it's, it's like the essential plot line of the novel, her conscience becomes, right. um, becomes a really big question. That's the secret the thing we're not going to talk about. That we're not going to talk about. Um, but, uh, okay, what's but, the, okay, but I just need to know what's in the bag. But Kelly has something. Driving me crazy. So when Elizabeth and I met, at BEA in June, I was wearing the most badass shoes I've ever worn. And Elizabeth has size 10 shoes, so it's very difficult for Tranny Liz to get, <laughs> to get shoes that are nice high heels. And so I went and talked to my ladies at Tory, Shut and up. guess what they found for you? You didn't. I did. You guys have to see these shoes. Oh are they outrageous? They're so outrageous. There you oh, go, baby. Wow. Oh. I was speaking with Kelly on the rooftop of this fabulous hotel, and I was thinking, what a, what a brilliant, interesting, sophisticated, intelligent person. We were talking about mutual friends that we had. We were having, we were just, we were really. We cute. were, we were being like women, smart women together. Yeah, we're like, I'm a smart woman, you're a smart woman. It's such yeah. a relief to me, you know. And then all of a sudden I looked down and went, oh my God, those shoes are. And I was like, don't you love them? Are they crazy? I know, it's I was so like, weird. Where did you get them? They're so amazing. I can never wear shoes. I know. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. They're awesome. <laughs> oh my God. They're awesome. Thank you. So good.